Five years ago, uh, my daughter was very ill. They had found a brain tumour. So overnight, our lives just changed. We were very worried about her. She wouldn't speak about what happened to her. She was doing very well physically following the operation, but she just shut down, wouldn't talk, wouldn't say what had happened, wouldn't say how she felt. Just wanted to feel the same as every other child and not face up to what had happened to her. So about three months after operation, a letter came in the door from Bardstown. With great trepidation, we came down and uh, it was unbelievable watching Madeline. She just changed. She completely changed. She was smiling, having fun. She would say in simple terms, it was the start of her emotional and psychological recovery. But she did feel isolated. And they do feel isolated and they feel different. And it's, yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. I said to them, is there anything I can do for you? And they said, yeah, we have an ambassador program. Would you like to come on training? So we came down for training, learned from a, the theory part of view what Bardstown does for the children. And then I was able to match it with what I'd seen, how Madeline had grown. So after a day's training, I was an ambassador. They said I could represent them. So from there, it's really well organized. You get emails regularly, and they might say anybody free for such and such event. And you decide if you can go. You could be doing check collecting. Um, you could be one of the road marshals at the Dublin Mountain Challenge. You could be um, helping organize the packs for the Dublin Mini Marathon for the ladies one. I believe in Bardstown. I've seen what it's done for my daughter and what it's done for other children. So it's very easy to be that Bardstown when you believe in the charity and the fun it brings back into children's lives.